Hi everyone, today we're going to be reviewing the Brown Distortion from Mo Sky Audio. We're going to go over some personal pros and cons I have with the pedal. If you'd like to see a full demo of this, there is a link to that demo in the description of this video. So let's start with some pros. Um, the cost, for one, it's very affordable. I think it's somewhere around $45 to $50, maybe a little, maybe close to $60. I'm not sure it's on Amazon. Sometimes the price of things like this can vary a little bit, but it's very affordable. And it's also very well built for that price. When you hold it, it doesn't really feel at all like a cheap pedal. It feels pretty sturdy overall. It doesn't feel like something that's going to break on you in like a month. And um, some other pros would include lots of EQ options. It has a tone knob, a contour knob, and a vintage and modern uh, toggle which all affect the EQ in some way. So you have a lot of little combinations and options to kind of get it to fit your amp and your guitar just the way you want. And I would also say a pro in its favor is a fairly wide range of gain. It can go pretty low gain as well as pretty super high gain. So it can do super high levels of distortion and it can almost get into more of like a, a midi medium gain overdrive kind of territory. So it's very versatile uh, for not that much money. Cons, I would say, are few, but they are there. It is a little noisy when you really start cranking the gain up. It's not too bad, but the noise is there. And you'll see on this pedal it has a boost um, toggle. It goes into a boosted mode, or I guess a, I guess there's normal mode and boosted mode. I'm not sure exactly what that means, but boosted mode gives you a lot more gain than the other mode, and it's almost too much gain. For me, maybe some people will play it and like it, but it's like an almost like an absurd amount of gain that I can't ever see myself using. And also so much to the point where the feedback the pedal makes is like constant. There's like almost always feedback coming out of it when you're in boosted mode, which I can see some people liking that for wild parts of a song and maybe it's stuff they, some parts of a song they'd find that cool. But for me personally, I like it a little more controlled. So I'm not a huge fan of the boosted mode. I'd keep it in normal mode. And in that mode, it sounds really good. Um, the gain structure sounds really nice. It's very fun to play. And yeah, overall, I would definitely recommend this pedal for someone who's looking for that kind of Marshall in a box sound at a very affordable rate that sounds good, looks good, and feels pretty sturdy. So I would definitely recommend at least checking out the Brown Distortion from Mosky Audio. Thanks for listening.